Hello YouTube, it's me John Avenger once again, long time no see with uh, any reviews. This is a new review, welcome back to Ho 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 Month, and it's from the 2020 Dr. Seuss's Grinch musical that came out that was on uh, NBC a couple of days ago. I wanted to review it before, you know, the year is over, and I liked it. I know a lot of critics were thinking that it was stupid, but again, guys, I saw all three versions of the Grinch in the past, like, three decades. I saw the 60s animated version, which is a classic, the, the Jim Carrey movie, which I love. I know a lot of critics don't like that one. And I did see the 2018 animated uh, CG version from with uh, Benedict Cumberbatch as the lead. I did like those because I like the Grinch as a character. This one is no exception. It's a new tradition of mine because uh, it's basically a, a staged version of the, of the musical that came out a couple years ago on Broadway. This one was filmed in London a long time ago, so you can tell. But uh, before the COVID hit. And, uh, but, uh, you know, the performances were fantastic. I, I really love the, Matthew Morrison nailed the Grinch. He's not Jim Carrey, but he really, really tries. He can sing. If you know Matthew Morrison's name, he was in Glee. He was one of the singers in that show. One of the older actors in the show. He's fantastic. I love his singing. He has a song here that's not in the other versions called One of a Kind. He nailed it. Like, he just entertained me. He made me laugh my ass off. There's one joke I didn't like, which is a fart joke, but I'm like, eh, it's, it's NBC. What do you expect? You're not going to get high art. Uh, the rest of the cast, um, Boo Boo Stewart is kind of weak as, a, as Max. He's the younger version of Max the dog, you know, the Grinch's psychic. He can talk in this version, and he also sings. He's in the whole movie like this. And I'm like, and his voice is kind of squeaky. I don't know what it is, what happened to Boo Boo Stewart. He went from Descendants to freaking uh, the movie with uh, Haley Luce Richardson to this. And I'm like, yeah, this is a step down for him, even though I've never been a fan. I mean, he did Twilight, so what do I know? Uh, Dennis O'Hare does the older version of Max. It's from his point of view. He's telling the story like the narrator does in the original films. And you also have this adorable little girl as Cindy Lou Who, Amelia Minto. This girl was absolutely adorable. Like, I saw her. She has a pink wig. She has these little painted freckles. has a beautiful smile. She has this really nice song with the Grinch where she holds onto his hand. It's adorable. Like, it, it, it made me feel something. And she's on to big, bigger and better things next year. I hope that little girl grows up to be a beautiful young lady. Very talented young girl. Um, the rest of the cast is good, too. Uh, so the, uh, Cindy Lou's mom. Uh, she has pink hair. She's really well. Uh, she can sing a really really cheerful song The costumes and the colors were beautiful. The sets are nice and white and they're practical. There's no CGI here um, The musical numbers are great like the choreography is big and bombastic and it's very stagey because it's like a Broadway show But there was no audience. I clapped almost to the entire thing. I'm a sucker for musicals guys I've seen musicals ever since I was a kid. I Saw Muppet Babies on on stage, and I saw uh, the the Broadway shows of um, Beauty and the Beast and Aladdin and and The Lion King and uh, Mary Poppins. I've seen a lot of musicals. I even saw Hamilton on Disney Plus this year, which I loved. That was freaking amazing. Like that singing was just phenomenal. I can see why it has such a huge fan base. And I like other musicals as well. So Little Shop of Horrors, uh, Once on This Island. There's a lot of musicals that just appeal to me. And uh, also, like, the makeup in this movie was really good. Um, the staging, you know, where they put the sets and, and, and the props and everything, well done. It has the spirit of the book. This is not as terrible as the 2003 Cat in the Hat movie. That is horrible. That movie hurts a lot because it's nothing like the book. It's offensive. It has stupid adult jokes in it. And it's disgusting and just mean-spirited. This movie, on the other hand had the heart it has the the cuteness it has the beautiful colors it has the sweet moments it has the the stagey acting which i love and uh the fact that this they, they didn't even try to give this a chance you know I, I gave it a chance it was it was uh it was based on a musical from that ran on broadway in 2006 and 2007 And uh, also the NBC Entertainer said, this is a perfect addition to our annual holiday program traditions and a telecast the entire family will enjoy. I enjoyed it. It's a 4.1. It's not the cat in the hat, guys. I promise you. If you see this on NBC or if you watch it on demand or online, you know, stream it. It's fun to watch. This is a new addition to the already growing Grinch legacy of the animated film, this live action movie from 2000, the other CG animated film, and now this one. So... 
it wasn't butchered. I, there were problems, like I said, a stupid fart joke. Some of the songs were kind of forgettable, like like in the middle of the film. Uh, but uh, the rest of it is really, really sweet. And if you have kids, it's 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 if it's inoffensive. They're not going to get offended by anything. And uh, it, you know, it's worth your time. Being this holiday season has been very stressful for me. I would say watch it. It's worth at least one watch. If you don't like it, I can understand, but I do enjoy it for what it is. And it has this holiday charm. It made me feel something. I clapped at the end. The performances just... I can't call these performances bad because I think they're amazing. And uh, while it's no Hamilton, it's still it's short and sweet. It's about 90 minutes. So you'll get your, mon your, your money's worth or your time worth on watching The Grinch live. And it's not... I promise you, it's not the uh, 2000... Three, a can and a half movie because that that's the worst thing dr seuss has ever put on the screen you know that any of his adaptations that's been put on the screen that's the worst without a doubt this is at least cute and fun and and colorful for kids and for families so it's a holiday tradition i definitely want to see again next year so thanks for watching my reviews guys uh, this is my first review in several days i'm glad i'm i'm doing this uh, it's been a long year but we're almost done. we got a few more weeks left. Then 2020 is over and 2021 will be right upon us. So thanks for watching. Take care. And I'll see you in the next review hopefully sooner. Bye.